Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video I'll show you 10 plus tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it with Samsung My Files and Samsung Dex. So let's begin. Samsung My Files is not my favorite files managing app, a files manager app on my Samsung DeX, but lately I started to fall in love with that, with that app and um, I started using it a bit more, so I thought, okay, maybe someone else will start using my files more, so I would like to share 10 or so uh, tips, tricks and things, what I learned and what I'm using day to day while using Samsung My Files app on my Samsung DeX. I have a list here on the left uh, on the next doc too, and uh, let's start with the first one, which says multiple files selection. What you see in front of you, I have the My Files app already open on my DeX, so multiple file selections. If I go into a folder, Samsung Files app, as you can see, I have a bunch of files there. Actually, I have 11 of them, and they're all sorts. There's a Microsoft Word document, TXT file, video file, and a couple of photos. Uh, just my logo multiple copied multiple times. So what if I want to select, um, let's say, all the images? Obviously, I can do this way just by dragging the mouse and selecting them. But what if I want to select images but first four? So what? How you can select this is you click and hold the mouse left mouse button. So left mouse button, click and hold, and drag down, drag down the mouse pointer. So as you can see, I've selected four. If I drag more, it's going to be five. I drag down, go all the way up go down or way up so as you can see by dragging mouse pointer up and down is selecting these images so I say I selected first four and I want to select the this and this one so click hold and drag hold on click and drag as you can see I selected the next one too that was supposed to be selected as well a bit weird why not let's quickly try that again so four and I want this and this here we go now it's worked so you can select in batches by clicking and holding and dragging and then you selected the multiple files. Obviously, you can, like I said, you can use this or you can use, I think, shift and mouse click works as well. So you press the shift and you mouse click somewhere to uh, select quickly how many files you want them. I think that's, that's, that's all basically with this tip and trick. Our next one is quick mouse hover preview thing. So as you can see right now, again, I have these files. So the image, I can clearly see that this is my uh, channel logo, but what if it's a photograph or something? Let's say go back and let's go into wallpapers. As you can see, there is a, I have four wallpapers for my decks and I wanna see what's that, but it's a bit too small for me to look. So if I mouse over, it's gonna give me a thumbnail in the correct aspect ratio of what exactly that image is. All right, okay, so it looks like a planet, what's this? Okay, it looks like a shuttle. I even can see a person on a horse. What if, what is this? Oh, right, it's a map of the world. So it's giving you a quick preview of that image by mouse over, over the small thumbnail. And from here, I can share or delete. If I go back into my Samsung My Files, there's a video intro, my YouTube video intro. So if I mouse over, over it, it's gonna give me a first frame or one of the first frames as a thumbnail, but what I can do extra in, with the videos, I can actually press play and it's gonna play the video for me. So it's gonna play on right, okay. All right, this is the right one. Let's say you have, um, you created that yourself a YouTube intro video and you have like five, 10 variations. You don't know which one is which, but you know that the, the correct one, let's say at the beginning showing the right color. So that's how uh, I find this useful when I need to play back quickly a short video. I'm saying, all right, is that the right one? All right, okay, so yes, that's that's the one. Sadly, this kind of mouse over effect do not work with the Microsoft Word documents. It just gives me a Microsoft Word icon, TXT files. The same is with Excel. So basically documents, not gonna give you a preview, but images, uh, I do believe GIFs as well, and obviously video files will give you a quick preview, and obviously with video files, you can play back them. Another mouse over feature that I quite like, if I go back into uh, my downloads folder, as you can see, I have the wallpapers folder with four items, but instead of going in there, in that folder, what if I just wanna have a quick peek just to see what's inside? If I mouse over, I'm gonna get a, a grid layout of all the images what's inside. So I can see 
all right so i had this one this one this one fine what inside here so if i if i mouse over over my folder with the 11 files in there i do get the grid three by three so i can see only nine pro nine um, images inside the nine files thumbnails what's inside but i can mouse i can wheel scroll and I can see all of them. So if there's more than nine, you can use a wheel scroll and go over it. And if you're holding a mouse slightly longer on each of them, you will be presented with a file name. So it's a quick peek into a folder mouse over effect. The next topic on my list is you can use up to five My Files app at the same time. So as you can see, I have the first one open up, no problem. Let's say I wanna have a second one open. To do that, I need to right click on the icon on a taskbar on this menu taskbar and I click open a new window and I'll be presented with additional my files app I can do one more so I can go and say open another one so right now I have three I can go and say I want to open another one I have four or you can open by going into into app draw and searching for files and pressing enter it's going to be opening the fifth one five is a maximum if I'm going to try to open the sixth one I'll be presented with a quick message saying you can't use more than five apps or windows of this app. So as you can see, I have five of them open. Let me close three and leave only two running. So I have files app on the left and files app on the right. And this kind of thing allows me to do a quick copy paste. Uh, so if I go to downloads, I have the folder here. And if I go in here, I'm going to quickly select my wallpapers. Uh, okay, drag them to the left and boom, I copied. So the My Files allows you to um, have multiple, more than one My Files app open at the same time, up to five, but then you can easily move the files across. They only works with a copy. On Windows, there is a shortcut key, I think it's Shift or Control when you press. Uh, when you're moving files and you're pressing that, that button, it changes from copy to move. Sadly, Dex doesn't have that, so it's only copy. So once you copy it, you can delete the folders from a source folder, or delete files from a source, source folder, can speak today. But anyway, that's how it's, 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 it's very nifty feature when I need to move files back and forward. Next, to, next point on my list is collapse subfolders much, much quicker. If I go to my SD card, Android, data, let's say open a bunch of the files. So a bunch of the subfolders, as you can see, I have a bunch of them open. So basically the way I see it is the root folder, SD card, sub-level one is called Android, sub-level two is called data, and so on and so on and so on. But what if I just don't wanna see basically anything open after data? how to cl quickly close them. And let's say start from beginning. If I click on data and click again, as you can see, all these fold of these subfolders got closed. So if I open them again, as you can see, it goes sort of in the steps like open, 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 open. If I click on a data, I click again, I see only sub level one opened, but not rest of them. If I click on SD card and open again, Android folders closed. So it's, it's not ideal, but it, it's very useful for me. I, I use this kind of feature or functionality a couple of times a day. So it's very helpful when I quickly need to um, get that sort and having a, a mouse, which does an infinite scroll helps very, helps a lot in this. So for example, if I'm going to open quickly a couple of folders, okay, 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 this is open. And I want to quickly just close everything. I quickly infinite scroll up, click on SD card, click again and all the sub-level folders are closed. I hope that makes sense. Next one is point number six, create a shortcuts of your favorite folder. Right, let's go into downloads. Let's go into, uh, for example, I wanna fold a shortcut of Samsung Files app on my desk, desktop. If I right click on that and I click create shortcut, by the way, you can select the folder and click on the three dots and create the shortcut from here. Uh, where is it? Come on, uh, I think I, uh, oh my God, I messed it up. I think I need to select it. Need to select and then it says, yes, you need to select folder first. So create a shortcut, it gives me two options. Home screen, so basically it's a desktop or my files. So if I click home screen and it's gonna say, I touch and hold the icon, it's gonna, it's gonna show me. So right, I want this icon to be here. So here we go, I have a shortcut to the folder, so if I close that and double click on this, it's gonna open directly into this folder. Fine, and if I wanna wallpapers, 
a shortcut uh, let's say I will choose my files my files is basically will create a shortcut within my files app so if I click on my files I have the wallpapers um, shortcut here by the way if you click on that and hold you'll be presented with the new window where you can basically rearrange them the way you want them to be or just delete a shortcut from here one thing if you if you will rename the folder so for instead of wallpapers i'm gonna say wallpaper and click rename the shortcut will disappear from here or if i will rename this file so instead of my files test or demo let's say samsung files demo i click rename the shortcut on the desktop still stays there but if i try to open it, it's going to say the shortcut leads to some file that doesn't it can be moved doesn't exist and you, it stops functioning number seven and, and num point number seven is more related to the samsung galaxy tablet users with dex well galaxy tablet users specifically the galaxy tablets that has android 10 or one ui 2.1 update uh, because this update brings you a new feature to the Samsung files, which is called network storage. Network storage will allow you to connect and mount the folders, uh, mount the server for FTP server or Samba SMB server. Basically that's happening if you click on the plus sign and click for example FTP server, you can enter address, username, password, port, etc, etc. I think that only works for port 21. I don't think that works with SMTPS, FTP, so secure file protocol. I don't think that works with that. I haven't tested, but F, uh, port 21 works perfectly. And with Samba, if I click on the plus sign and click network attached storage, or sorry, Samba or SMB, um, it's gonna try to find all the all the networks running currently. This is the um, WD MyCloud SMB uh, hard drive. It's currently unplugged, but once I plug that in, as you can see right now, it's detected. I think it's detected my uh, work PC there. But I can add, uh, uh, when it's detected, I can add this way, or I can add manually, again, entering host, password, etc., etc. So very useful. Currently I have one, which is connected to my Shield TV, but I had a little bit more here, but I, I just delete them for this video because I, I thought I'm just gonna delete them. I try not to show the, to everyone the actual public APs addresses and etc. So, but network storage, very useful feature. Next one is Samsung Files has a built-in compress feature. So you can archive it or unarchive the files. So if we'll go back into the downloads. If I right click on this uh, Samsung Files demo, I have an option to say compress. And once I press on that, I can compress in zip file or 7-zip or basically 7-z. So I'm gonna click uh, zip file, press compress. And here we go, I have a file here. So what I'll do with this for, with zip file, I quickly move into a folder, into a wallpaper, and if I right click, I'm gonna say extract, or extract to current folder. So if you click extract to current folder, it's just gonna dump files here. If you click extract, it's gonna create a file folder with that name, and it's gonna place the files inside that. So as you can see, it's done a double because I, I have the, the folder with the files, but you get the idea. It's just gonna create a folder with the name of the of the archive and just want to delete this just to make sure I don't have anything here that I just don't need. Quick check how much space taking your cloud storage. Very useful feature. I use that quite a lot with OneDrive and Google Drive. I'll demonstrate that with the Samsung Cloud Drive because it's all just test data here. There is a button at the top. Sometimes I'm like on in the cloud storage and thinking, okay, suddenly I start using a lot of data inside Google Drive. Each cloud storage has this button. You press on there and it's going to give you the quick sh rundown exactly what's taken where. Plus, it's gonna give you extra information like duplicate files, large files, or unused files. And these are uh, quick uh, preview, quick look, it's give you quick data of what files you might need to delete or suggesting you need to delete because they're taking so much space or you haven't used them for a while. To quickly set up the files and what the system will think that is a large file and what system will think that is a news file you can do inside the settings in the my files app if you click on that and click settings you will get an option at the bottom saying large file size 500 megs or up and use file uh, file time is six months or older so that's how i set up you can change to 9 12 or custom time so let's say if i haven't used the file for two months tell me that is a news file i don't need that anymore and anything, let's say, uh, one 
gigabyte. And that means a large file. So everything that's one gig, I need to delete. And it's because it's taking too much space. Next thing is a recycling bin. I was surprised, but the my files right now has a recycling bin after Android 10 update. And recycling bin, if you don't have that or you need to check that if it's activated or if you are actually have this recycling bin, you click on the three dots, go into settings and it's gonna be an option here under file management, recycling bin. I currently have that turned on. And what that does, if I click on the three dots and I go into, hold on, I go here and I click on three dots and I'm gonna give me a recycling bin feature. So if you click on that, there's a bunch of files I deleted today that I need or don't need and they're gonna be here think for 30 days I think it's for 30 days to be honest I don't know how long these are being kept in the, in the recycling bin because I tend uh, once a week just go in and just make sure that everything what's in there I don't need and quickly delete them very useful just in case if I delete something that I need later and I'm like oh great the recycling bin basically saved saved me a couple a couple of times because I deleted a file that I was not supposed to very good Recycling bin saved my life, basically. Next one is a mouse wheel scroll while you're moving your files. This, I was surprised uh, when I found out that this actually exists. Um, let's say I'm gonna open SD card and I'm gonna download, okay. And let's open games, let's open a bunch of folders. And now let's go to my downloads. I wanna take this file and move it into uh, SD card downloads. I move over the folder tree and then I use mouse wheel to scroll to a specific folder. So I scroll to a specific folder. Where is it? I think I missed it. It's somewhere here. Uh, if, yeah, I passed it. So let's say I go up and then load, I'll release and it's copied inside there. Perfect. But before you're doing that, before you're moving the file into a folder, make sure the folder is visible because Samsung My Files app missing the feature that I would like to be on there. On Windows, if you mouse over the with the file that you want to copy over the folder, if that folder has a subfolder, Windows Explorer, File Explorer automatically expands the folder. So it's automatically expands. Right now, I can't move it because I need to open this. Okay, grab the file. Okay, file is closed. Now I need to open the file. So it's a bit it's a bit messing around, but and it's a feature that I would like my file, something my files to have, but it doesn't. So make sure that you have a folder visible before you're moving the file. Next one, point 12, we're on the point 12. And on the left-hand side, there is a two quick shorts, quick shortcut blocks. One of them is called recent with just one, one link. And the one is called cat, uh, categories. They're useful. And to be as well, I use recent files tab more often than categories. But, uh, and I usually categories actually is turned off. And I'll show how you can turn on and off them. But basically what happens, if you click on images, it's gonna show you all the images inside your Android device. It doesn't matter if it's internal storage, external storage, or in the cloud. I think in the cloud does the same thing. The same is with video, audio, etc. If you click on installation files, it's gonna find all the APK files for you, all the side loaders um, that actually exist on your Android device. And you can quickly go and find out. So as you can see, I have extracted apps, three of them, and they both all three ways 25 plus megs and if you click on the recent it's going to give you um the files that you edited i'm just quickly going to delete this history because that was my work file that i worked just before recording this video but here we go recent files will show all the opened or downloaded files that you mm -hmm. interacted recently okay next thing next thing on my list is search feature inside samsung files oh yeah by the way so recent files and categories if you go here and you click settings and you click on the customize my files home you can turn on and off recent and categories i will leave recent on i will click categories off because i like to have all this lay all this fit in one window size like right now instead of have to scroll to get to the shortcut keys this is me but you can leave i leave recent and i turn off the, the categories right search feature if you click on this magnifying glass, you have an option to search files from yesterday, past seven days or past 30 days, image, videos, audio, documents, installation files. If you click on images, you have an option for JPEGs, PNG, GIF, BMP, and etc. So it gives you the image file with a specific extension to find it. 
So if I, for example, I'm going to say I want all the images with JPEG and I want to search for YouTube. Okay, it doesn't find any YouTube. Fantastic. Let's just search YouTube without anything. Oops, I misspelled YouTube. That's bad. YouTube. Really? You can't find YouTube file? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Uh, let's search for Mr. P. No files found. You must be kidding me. Uh, past 30 days. Let's search for MP3. This is weird. Right, okay, let me close that. Let's open again. This is weird. This first time happened like this. So I am here and I'm going to say YouTube. Here we go. Now we're searching. Basically, I searched for Word YouTube and it's found all the files and folders that contain Word YouTube in internal storage, external storage, and cloud storage. And as you can see, it's found a bunch of files in my Google Drive. And it should be some files in one drive. I can't see, but it doesn't matter. So if I'm gonna quickly delete this, I'm gonna say Mr. P. So Mr. P drive, etc. etc. So Samsung Cloud has found some in there. And one drive found some in there in the Google Drive. So it finds it's quickly searched for these files. And if I go back to um, search, I'm gonna say images and I want all the GIFs. So it's found all the GIF files. So here you go. I don't know why previously it wasn't working, but it's working now. Another thing, uh, another point, and actually last two points is very simple, but I still decided to put them into this list because I've been asked about them. The change the layout, the way images, the files being presented for you. So if you go into, um, for example, I go into this demo folder, there's an option here next to a magnifying glass. Currently, I see everything in list. If you click once, you're going to see a detailed option. If you click once again, you're going to see a grid option. Grid option is very useful for me when I have a folder with let's say artwork, visuals, uh, images, photographs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I can quickly change into a grid option and quickly see exactly what's going on. And because I'm using Ultra Wide Monitor, if I go the bigger the window, the more the thumbnail size will be. So when I'm scrolling through hundreds of them, I can quickly see exactly which one I want to find. But please note, once you change the layout in one folder, this layout will be changed everywhere. So if I click on the desk, uh, Actually, let's go here. If I click download, and as you can see, folders are now grid view. If I go in wallpapers, wallpapers grid view. So I tend to leave this as the a list view, but what I need, I can quickly change to grid view and quickly find the files or images that I'm looking for. And the last one, again, very simple, but uh, it's be, I've been asked a couple of times. Under three dots, there is an option for sort, and in here you quickly can change how you want to sort: name, date, type, and size, or you want ascending. Or descending and it's very useful when you're looking for a specific file inside the folder and the, the that takes the most space or most recent file etc very useful so thank you much for watching i hope i'm well i i know that i missed some of the tags some of the tips and tricks of the samsung my files if you know any that i missed and i haven't mentioned in this video please leave that tip and trick in the comment section below for this to see and i'll see you next video thank you much for watching and goodbye